Okay, so we're going to look at the properties of the number 2026, specifically focusing on trigonometric functions evaluated at this number. So this video might give a bit of an insight into how mathematicians think. So given a problem or given a certain data set, what sort of questions might we ask? What kind of structure or patterns or exceptions might we look for? And what sort of things do we find interesting? Or maybe the problem just gives us a bit of an insight into what mathematicians get up to with too much free time on their hands over the holidays. So at the moment, in 2026, thinking about this in degrees, we've got sine of 2026 is less than cos is less than tan of 2026. And considering the years as just being integers, this has only just changed, because back in 2025, if we write this as x equals 2025 in degrees, then we actually had sine and cos were equal to each other. So sine and cos were equal and tan was still the biggest of these. And this changed as well in 2025, because if we go back to 2024, again working in degrees, we actually had sine and cos were the other way around, so we had cos x was the smallest with sine in the middle, they weren't equal, and tan was the biggest. So now this current pattern, where sine is less than cos is less than tan, hasn't actually happened since a brief period, this was from 1839 to 1844 inclusive, so including both of these years. Again, just considering these as being integers, not putting any non-integer values in. And before this, there was a 44-year period from 1666 to 1709, where we had this order as well, sine less than cos less than tan in degrees, including both of these years. And this year, 1666, was actually exactly 360 years ago, because each of these functions repeat every 360 degrees. So we're going to get the same sort of pattern now from 2026. This order is going to be preserved all the way until 2069. And then in 2070, we actually have tan of 2070 degrees isn't well defined. So we get to an asymptote on the graph here. So this, you could argue, is maybe equal to plus or minus infinity. But at this point, we don't have an order. Then after that, in 2071, the order is going to change again. Now, if we consider the number 2026 working in radians, which you get a slightly different order. So now we get cos is less than tan is less than sine of 2026 radians. And this order is going to change much more regularly in radians because in degrees, these functions repeat every 360 years or tan repeats every 180 years. Whereas in radians, these are only going to repeat every two pi years. So just over every six years. However, because two pi isn't an integer, and if we're only really considering years as integers rather than putting in a decimal value, if we're partway into a year, we get quite erratic behaviour with the radians, that it's not actually going to be periodic like how degrees are, so it's not going to repeat or follow any nice repeating kind of pattern. So now we're going to be interested in not just when did this order last happen, but when did the order in radians and this specific order in degrees last happen together. So the last time we had sine less than cos less than tan in degrees and cos less than tan less than sine in radians is actually back in 1844 is the last time this worked, or at least at an integer value. Then we also had this five more times. We had this five times in this longer period from 1666 to 1709. So then we get this again in 2026. We'll also get it another four times from 2026 onwards. So five times, including 2026. So we get four times up until 2069. Then the order changes again in 2070, and we won't have this again alongside our order, the current order in radians, cos less than tan less than sine. The next time this happens, because the degrees are so slow to change, this won't happen again until 2202. We can also use an angle unit called gradients, which you might not have used before, but you may have seen on a calculator. So gradients, we have 400 gradients is the same as 360 degrees, or 2 pi radians, and this is essentially chosen so that a right angle is 100 gradients, an attempt to make angles more metric. So the current order in gradients of 2026 gradients is sine is less than tan is less than cos, and we've had this order actually since 2001, and this order is going to continue all the way up until 2042, and then it'll change in 2043. So when did we last have the current order in degrees, gradients, and in gradients in this particular order? 
Well, it turns out this has only actually happened once before, since the year one. So the last time this happened was in the year 405, where all of these inequalities were satisfied. And this is the only time this has happened if we don't include negative years. And I think this is particularly interesting now. We're starting to get towards something that's actually quite unique here, that this occurs in 2026, but then having only occurred once before since the year one, we get it again in really short succession in 2032. And then if we look a little bit further to the future, we get some really interesting structure that this actually occurs again in 2403, then again in 2409, and then this occurs again in 2422, and finally in 24. 28. So after happening only once and then twice in short succession, we get in the 2400s this combination of orders occurs again four times in quite short succession. We might actually find that quite surprising given how few possible orderings there are. So if we think about this considering the cases where there are strict inequalities, there are only six possibilities, so sine, cos, tan, sine, tan, cos, etc. So we'd have six possibilities in degrees, six in radians, and six in gradients. So you'd expect to have around six cubed, or 216 possible combinations for these orders, of all of these different inequalities. However, there are some cases where the inequalities could be different. So for example, we could actually have sine equals cos, and this takes place when x would be, it would be 45 degrees plus 180 times some integer. So 45 and then every 180 years after that as well. So n is some integer. And then there's also issues that we don't have these inequalities again. For example, tan x is not well defined. And this is when x would be 90 plus, and then this repeats every 180 years. So plus 180 times some integer tan isn't well defined. So even though we've got these extra cases, it's still not adding that many possibilities. So it is perhaps a bit surprising that we have some that aren't taking place that often. But of course, this is because we're just looking at a relatively small sample. So we're only looking at the first just over 2000 years here. So although we've got something that I personally think is quite interesting, we've got that this order has only happened once before, then it happens twice in the next few years in really short succession, then happens four times in really short succession in the 2400s. This is starting to feel extremely specific and quite contrived, the fact that we're focusing on these specific combinations of inequalities. So next we'll look forward to the future and we'll look at something hopefully that feels a little bit less contrived, maybe a little bit more interesting than this. So if we consider the hyperbolic trig functions, we have hyperbolic tan is less than hyperbolic sine is less than hyperbolic cos of 2026. And you'll notice here we don't actually have any units because with the hyperbolic trig functions there isn't really a sense of an angle being in degrees or radians or otherwise, so the input is more related to an area enclosed with a hyperbola, at least for hyperbolic sine and cos. And it turns out that this inequality is actually true for all positive values of x. So what I think makes this quite interesting then is we can aim for, if this inequality is satisfied, we could also aim for our non-hyperbolic trig functions. We could try for tan x less than sine x less than cos x, because then if this is achieved in degrees, radians, gradients, this will also be satisfied with hyperbolic trig functions. So if we look first of all at gradients, the ones that change the most slowly, so in gradients, we actually just had this. We had this from 1901 to 1999, including each of these. And then this happens basically for a century every 400 years. So we get this next in 2301 to 2399, and again in 2701 to 2799. So if we look for this inequality being satisfied, let's go to degrees next. Then in degrees, we actually, this is going to be the next order coming up. So if we don't count 2070, where tan of 2070 isn't well defined, this is the next one coming up. So we'll get this from, it'll be 2071 all the way up to 2159. But then if we want all of these to be satisfied, we need to look further to the future for gradients. So there's no overlap in this 2300s, but then in the 2700s, we get this order is satisfied in degrees from it's from 2791 all the way up to 2799. And just for interest as well, this order was last achieved in degrees all the way back. It was 701 to 719. So it's been a long time since we've had this order in degrees. 
And then finally, if we look at radians, we're really interested in this region now, the 2791 to 2799. So in radians, we also get this is satisfied in 2795 and also 2796 of this range. So in this two years, actually have all four of these have the same inequality. So tan less than sine less than cos for hyperbolic and then also for our regular trig functions in degrees, radians and gradients. So these are definitely the two years to look out for where things start to really get interesting. And now finally, I probably got a bit too invested in all of this, to the point where I actually now have a favourite point on this graph where we have sine, cos and tan all together. So you see this little bit here where originally at the beginning we have sine as the smallest, then tan, then cos. Then this changes twice in quite short succession here, so it changes to sine, then cos, then tan. And then it changes again to cos as the smallest, then sine as the middle, and then tan as at the top there. So I found this was quite an interesting point on the graph to look at, where you have these two changes in very short succession. I actually felt a little bit sad seeing this in degrees, because in degrees this last happened between 1839 and 1844 inclusive, and this doesn't happen again unfortunately until it's 2199 to 2204 inclusive, so 360 years later. So I felt a bit sad to miss out on both of these. However, if we look at this in gradients, this is actually the next one that's coming up. So we're almost reaching this point in gradients. So we're going to get this in gradients from 2043 to 2049 inclusive. And then if we look at this in radians, we've actually not had this for quite a while in radians. So even though radians sort of almost repeats every six years, because this needs to actually be an integer, if we're only really considering x or input to be an integer here, we haven't actually had this in radians since all the way back in 1936. So you can think of this as where are these two points in radians? Well, the first one where cos and tan are equal to each other is around 0 0.666. And then the second point where sine and cos are equal to each other is pi over 4, or this is around 0 0.785. So we've only got a very small width there. We've got about 0 0.119. And out of the total of 2 pi of this period of our functions before they repeat, this is actually less than 2% of that total width. So this is actually quite rare to occur in radians, where we're in this favourite bit of the graph here. And the next time this happens in radians, interestingly enough, is actually in 2049. So even though we won't necessarily see this for degrees, this interesting part of the graph, I think it's really cool that coming up not too far in the future, we have a year where we're on this interesting bit of the graph, both in radians and in gradients. So I think 2049 is really the year to look out for. It should be a really interesting year, at least trigonometrically speaking.